In this video, we're going to learn how to run open source LLMs on our machine using C Transformers. If we come over to the C Transformers GitHub page, you can see it says it has Python bindings for transformer models implemented using the GGML library. But it actually supports lots of other models and it mirrors the API of the Hugging Face Transformers library. Now, by default, it installs only CPU support. So to have it use the GPU, you'll need to install the CUDA package or install C Transformers from source with Rock M support or Metal support. So if we come over to my terminal, I've downloaded a GGUF format of the Mistral AI model from Hugging Face. And we're going to now launch the IPython terminal and we'll import C Transformers and we're going to import the rich console just to make it easier to print stuff. And we're also going to import time so that we can time how long it takes to do stuff. And then we're going to initialize that console. Now we're going to then create a path variable that points to the Mistral AI model and we're going to initialize the model. So we're going to initialize it with for, from the model path with the type Mistral and we're going to set GPU layers to zero, which is the default. Now we're going to create a little example. So we're going to capture the start time. We're going to also initialize a chars variable that's going to capture how many characters get rendered. We're going to then create some args, which is going to have a prompt. So what is a large language model? And then we're going to tell it to stream the results. And then we're going to iterate through for each chunk in the model. So we're going to call the model. We're going to then print out the chunk and we're going to capture the number of characters. And then at the end, we'll capture how long did it take. And we're going to print out how long did it take and how many characters were generated. And so if we run that one, so this is, remember, running on the CPU. It takes a few seconds. We'll speed it up a little bit. So it takes just under seven seconds and it's rendered 73 characters a second and it's told us what a large language model is. We can also tell it to run some of the layers of the LLM on the GPU. And if we take a look at the Mistral AI paper, on the second page, it has a table that, of, that describes the model architecture. And if we look in here, it has n underscore layers 32. And so I think this is, the, this is what it means when we're talking about layers. So let's go back to our uh, previous command and we're going to change the GPU layers to 32. And then let's get back to the previous command, which runs the question and we'll run that again. And you can see this time it's running through and you can see it's already just looking at it. It's printing quicker and it takes just over two seconds and it's done 194 characters a second. Now, from my experience, like whatever value I set that layers to, as long as it was above zero, it seemed to be more or less um, a, took a similar, like generated a similar improvement in speed. So I'm not in, entirely sure what it does with that value. So if we, if we look at the parameters that the model takes in, you can see there are lots of different things that we can pass in. One of those is called top K. And so that indicates how many tokens should be considered when it's working out what's the next token to generate. So it's normally set to 40, but we could set it to just one. So it's literally just going to choose what's the most obvious next token to choose. And so if we run that, we then get this answer instead. And if we run that again, we'll get exactly or almost exactly the same output because we've kind of removed all the variability. Let's have a look at a different parameter. So this time we're going to tell it I want the maximum new tokens to be 20. So this is the number of tokens that it generates in the results. So we're really limiting uh, how many it can come up with. And if we run it this time, you see it sort of stops uh, in the middle of the answer because it's reached that token limit. So I think this is quite a cool. This is another way of running models uh, on your machine. If you liked this video, you might like also like this other one up here where I showed how to run LLMs on your machine using another library called Alarma.